The fabulous year that Taylor Swift has had in the realm of music, there exists a luminary whose brilliance transcends conventional boundaries and shines like a guiding star. Yes, it's none other than Taylor Swift, whose name resonates as a testament to boundless artistry. As we all have witnessed, the diva marked the year 2023 with a constellation of triumphs, proving her unparalleled stature as an artist of incomparable magnitude. With each passing moment, Swift etched her imprint deeper into the fabric of music history and proved to be a maestro whose brilliance spans genres and generations alike. Her 12th Grammy marked the beginning of the year, setting the stage for an exceptional journey ahead. Her era's tour, a musical odyssey that stretched across continents, broke records and won hearts. Later, her global influence evoked heartfelt tributes from cities worldwide. With each accolade and record shattered, Swift didn't just make music, she created a legacy that we all will remember for decades to come. Taylor Swift kicked off her remarkable year with a resounding victory at the Grammy Awards. Securing her 12th Grammy win for Best Music Video with All Too Well, the short film, which she directed and starred in, Swift celebrated her artistry on music's grandest stage. The iconic night was not only about accolades but also marked a fashion statement as she walked the red carpet adorned in a midnight-esque dress by Roberto Cavalli and bedecked in $3 million worth of Lorraine Schwartz jewelry. March 17 marked the beginning of the era's tour in Glendale, Arizona, a monumental journey that propelled Swift to the brink of surpassing the highest-grossing tour record. What began as an electrifying kickoff escalated into an extraordinary extension, planning a staggering 151 shows to date. Swift's spellbinding performances and stagecraft captivated audiences worldwide, solidifying her status as an unparalleled musical luminary. Throughout the year, Taylor Swift engaged in groundbreaking collaborations. Her standout collaboration with Ice Spice for Karma, resulting in a Grammy nomination, resonated deeply with her fans. Swift's admiration for Ice Spice's dedication and preparedness echoed the seamless synergy they shared, reinforcing their mutual respect and artistic bond. The diva also collaborated with Hayley Williams and Fall Out Boy 4, Castles Crumbling, and Electric Touch. Swift's global influence was unmistakable as cities worldwide paid tribute to her in exceptional ways. From temporary name changes to illuminating landmarks in her iconic era's colors, tributes poured in. It all started with Glendale temporarily changing its name to Swift City. Later, Brazilian Swifties campaigned for the Junior Jewels t-shirt from her You Belong With Me music video to be projected onto the Christ the Redeemer statue. And, guess what? Eduardo Pays, the mayor of Rio de Janeiro, and Father Omar, who runs the statue's projection, made it happen in exchange for fans donating clean water and 20,000 panettoni to local charities. That's not all. Las Vegas lit up its gateway arches in the color of her era's tour. Meanwhile, Arlington, Texas, named a street Taylor Swift Way and Minneapolis temporarily renamed itself Swiftiapolis in honor of her era's tour. The release of Speak Now, Taylor's Version, and 1989, Taylor's version, underscored her commitment to reclaiming her discography. It also paved the way for the exceptional artist to become the only living artist to have five albums in the top ten of the Billboard 200 albums chart at the same time. What an unprecedented feat. She has certainly affirmed her stature as a trailblazer in the music industry with this achievement. Taylor Swift, the era's tour hit AMC theaters on October 11th and in less than a week, it became the highest-grossing concert film in the U.S., a feat recognized in the 2023 Guinness World Records. The concert film has grossed $178.9 million in the United States and Canada, and $70.7 .7 million in other territories, for a worldwide total of $249.6 million. In North America, there was a similar top 10, Swift, followed by Beyoncé, Morgan Wallen, Drake, Pink, Bruce Springsteen The E Street Band, Ed Sheeran, George Strait, Carol G, and RBD, several celebrities, including Marin Morris. Haley Kiyoko, Simu Liu and most notably Beyoncé, joined her at the premiere of Taylor Swift, 
the ERA's tour at the Grove in Los Angeles to extend their support and show admiration for her work. Later, Swift arrived at the London premiere of Renaissance, a film by Beyoncé, symbolizing reciprocal support and admiration. The year was extra special for the artist. Swift made her relationship with Travis Kelsey public with playful nods during her performances and interviews. Ever since she decided to open up about her relationship, her romance grabbed headlines for all the right reasons. From Swift channeling her inner cheerleader at Kansas City Chiefs games to Kelsey planning special dinner dates for his lady love. The two showcased what love truly should look and feel like. Seeing the fairy tale love story unfold in front of their eyes, Swifties couldn't stop but gush at the adorable couple. And yes, we all lovingly followed and cherished all the cheering, canoodling, and Instagram flirting. Speaking about their relationship publicly for the first time in an interview with Time, Swift said, This all started when Travis very adorably put me on blast on his podcast, which I thought was metal as hell. We started hanging out right after that. So we actually had a significant amount of time that no one knew, which I'm grateful for, because we got to get to know each other. Last but not least, the zenith of Taylor Swift's year arrived in December when Time honored her as Person of the Year, acknowledging her unprecedented influence in transcending boundaries and inspiring unity. With this achievement, she made history as the first woman to appear on Time's Person of the Year cover two separate times. For those unaware, Swift appeared on the Time cover as one of the Silence Breakers, a group of women who were chosen for speaking out about sexual misconduct and inspiring others to do the same. In 2017, Swift is also the first Times Person of the Year from the field of arts to be honored for her success as an entertainer. Kansas City Chiefs tight end Travis Kelsey reportedly has something special planned for pop superstar Taylor Swift's birthday next week, a source with knowledge of the situation told Lifestyle on Thursday, December 7. He's arranged a very intimate, romantic dinner just for the two of them, and is also trying to pull off a semi-surprise party with the help of some of her closest friends, the insider shared. Swift will turn 34 next Wednesday, December 13, and, after traveling back to New York this week, is expected to return to Kelsey in Kansas City. Which will include attending Chiefs game against the Buffalo Bills at Arrowhead Stadium on Sunday, December 10. Swift broke her silence on her relationship with Kelsey while being featured as Time Magazine's Person of the Year on Wednesday, December 6. Swift praised Kelsey for, adorably, putting her, on blast, when he revealed on his New Heights podcast in July that he attempted and failed to give her a bracelet with his phone number while attending her Era's tour concert in Kansas City. The singer added that the two had spent significant time together before she initially attended a Chiefs game at Arrowhead Stadium in September, at which point they were already a couple. This all started when Travis very adorably put me on blast on his podcast, which I thought was metal as hell, Swift said. We started hanging out right after that. So we actually had a significant amount of time that no one knew, which I'm grateful for, because we got to get to know each other. By the time I went to that first game, we were a couple. I think some people think that they saw our first date at that game. We would never be psychotic enough to hard launch a first date. When you say a relationship is public. That means I'm going to see him do what he loves, we're showing up for each other, other people are there and we don't care, Swift added. The opposite of that is you have to go to an extreme amount of effort to make sure no one knows that you're seeing someone. And we're just proud of each other. Last Tuesday, November 28, a source with knowledge of the situation told us weekly that Swift reportedly flew back to Kansas City to be with Kelsey following the conclusion of her Gira's tour concerts in Brazil the previous day. Swift's private jet was reported to have landed at Charles B. Wheeler Downtown Airport, according to flight tracker data shared by the Instagram account at Taylor Swift Jets. The singer isn't scheduled to resume the international leg of her ongoing Gira's tour until February 7, 2024, which will kick off four consecutive shows at the Tokyo Dome. A source told us weekly that Swift was so grateful to Kelsey for being a huge support to her after the death of 23-year-old concertgoer Ana Clara Benavides, 
who went into cardiac arrest and died during the show amid extreme temperatures on November 17th.